Hello everyone and welcome back. My name's Finn and this is my journey towards a life closer to boat building and sailing. Now in the last episode I had a visit from Pete from Epoxy Limited. Now I made a mistake in the last video when I introduced Pete and I said he was from Epoxy UK Limited which was actually incorrect when in fact he is actually from Epoxy Limited. So now we've got all of the new timbers of the counter stern sheathed with fiberglass matting and resin and all that has cured off really nicely but now we're in winter in England and the temperature has really plummeted the last few days have been below freezing so I'm unable to do any more fiberglassing work at the moment as it's just not possible for me to be able to tent this space and keep the temperature up enough to allow the epoxy to go off so the next stages of the project are to remake the four transom knees that are fixed to the deck on the aft of the boat that brace up and allow the transom boards to be bolted through and fastened onto the aft of the boat. And I've just got the two old transom knees sat in position just so I can start marking out and making some marks of where the new timbers are going to be fitted and I can take the angles off of the underside to match the camber of the deck. Now some of you might be wondering why I'm unable to reuse the original knees off of the boat. Now if any of you guys can remember back to when I dismantled the transom. I showed that all of the transom knees had a defect in them in some way or another. Now these two outside knees, the port and starboard, have some quite severe shakes and cracks in them. So as I've gone to all of the length so far to rebuild the counter stern of the boat, it would seem silly to refit some timbers that, in my opinion, aren't really good enough for the job. So I've now got to get my steaming kit set up and then start selecting and machining the timbers I need to steam bend and laminate up these transom knees. But first things first, I need to make a template of the new knee and then I also need to make a former in which I can bend the steam bent timbers round. So let's get this template made. Now unfortunately I lost the footage of making the template for the transom knees. Now the process was pretty straightforward. All I had to do was to clamp this piece of plywood into the position of where the transom knee is going to be sitting, then using a long straight edge held against the new bottom transom timber that has then allowed me to transfer the angle marking along the straight edge line to give me the exact angle in which the new transom boards are going to be fitted to. Thank you. 
Right, so I've got the steamer set up here behind me. Now I've just got a, it's an old gas tube that I've built a wooden box on the front for a door to open, so I'm able to get the timber in and out. And I've just got a high pressure gas burner that's sitting under an old beer keg that's full of water with the pipe connecting up between the two. And that way, when the pot starts boiling, the water travels up through the pipe that I've got wrapped up in some material behind and that's then filling the box with steam and I've just put in my first test piece of oak so I'm having a go at steaming up some five inch by one inch um, oak timbers that are going to be laminated up to make the transom knees for the back of the boat so I've made the former that I'm going to bend them round so I've just put in the first piece of oak now they're because they're about an inch in thickness with steaming uh, timbers the general rule of thumb is an inch an hour. So I've just put this timber in and I'm gonna check it again in an hour and have a go at bending it around the former. A few moments later.
some 40 grit sandpaper and a block. I'm just going to rough up all of the gluing faces, just give it a good key for the epoxy to bite into, and then give it all a good painting of epoxy and glue it all up.
So I've just taken all of the clamps off of the second transom knee that I've laminated up and I've sat the template on the sides just to check the curve, just to make sure it's kept to the same curve since I've taken it off the former. Now unfortunately these timbers have opened out a bit too much to be able to use. Now there's a couple of lessons to be learnt here and when the first one goes to plan don't try and change the process. So unfortunately now this knee is all glued up but because it's opened out beyond um, the point in which I'd be able to reshape this timber and make it work with the template I'm going to have to remake this knee entirely which is a bit of a shame as I had really hoped I was going to get the port and starboard knee laminated up and cleaned up and then marked out ready for cutting the bevel on the bottom to fit it to the deck of the boat. So it just now means that after Christmas I'm going to have to remake this knee before I can get on with the next stages of fitting the transom boards. So I just want to take this time to thank each and every one of you that have shown so much support towards my project over this last year. Your kindness and generosity really is overwhelming and I thank each and every one of you. If you've enjoyed the video and want to see more then hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it to get notified of my next release. And if any of you guys feel you would like to support my project, then I'll include all of the links in the description below the video. So thank you all for watching and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you next time.